Camera number 113 of 365, and it's the EOS 5000. A camera requiring batteries to operate all its uh, automatic functions. So let's just insert a battery into the camera first of all. Camera takes uh, two CR123A batteries and replace them one with the uh, negative and then the positive terminal, and then just close the battery compartment. The lens on this particular occasion it's uh, a zoom lens, a EF 35 to 135 and we take the lens off by simply depressing the lens release and rotating anti-clockwise. Not a huge amount to see on the front of the camera here. A beam assist for uh, focus and that's pretty much it on the, the front. So let's just put the lens back on. The top plate uh, has a very small liquid crystal display which uh, shows us our battery is okay and it also shows us our aperture because of course there's no aperture barrel on these uh, this lens and so you could view this as a shutter priority camera although like so many things you can also view it as an aperture priority depending on your uh, point of view. Uh, we can do our manual shutter speeds and the camera responds by setting the correct aperture. So our shutter speeds go from 2000 through to uh, bulb, self timer and then uh, we have to put that button allows us to uh, rewind our film when it's pressed when this button is pressed as well. Otherwise, if we set the camera to uh, its green button, it's basically a program and the camera makes all this, the decisions regarding aperture and shutter. But we do have some creative modes. We have uh, portrait mode, landscape, uh, macro and uh, sports action. Uh, no choice of uh, film speeds. It's DX coding or DX coding only. And that's pretty much it on the top plate here, hot shoe. And when we look through the viewfinder, we just simply get uh, a green uh, confirmation of focus, and then uh, there's an AE illuminated light. Sometimes it blinks if it's deemed that the, the shutter speeds are slow. It just tells us that uh, we're going to be using slow shutter speeds. And then we have uh, partial metering. Uh, it does do a number of other functions as well, but essentially, if I've understood it correctly, it basically performs uh, spot metering, which uh, is uh, very useful for those uh, times when perhaps a uh, subject is backlit, but it is only the center focus point of the three focus points that uh, this camera has. So the button can also be used to bring our focus right back to the middle uh, if we want that. Uh, so it's a quick uh, button, if you like, to do that. And that's it. That's pretty much uh, all there is to say about uh, Canon EOS 5000, which has been camera number 113 of 365.